Hello and welcome to yet another guitar channel. I'm Anjay and today we are looking at another Bigfoot engineering pedal. Looked at the uh, King Fuzz in my last video, up in one of the corners. And today we're going to look at the Octopus, which is an analogue passive octave up. So what does analogue and passive mean? Well, analogue means that it's analogue, no digital components. Passive means it doesn't require a power supply. Now, that doesn't mean it doesn't require anything. It does need a buffered pedal in front of it or a buffer in front of it to work. Because of that, it will interact differently with most pedals you put in front of it. So I'm using the King Fuzz, which I had built specifically with a buffer in it to be able to use with this pedal. You can use a Boss pedal in front of it because they're all buffered. You can use some of the older pedals where there's no true bypass. You can also use an actual buffer, so you can get a little Mosky one for 15 quid off eBay. What it does is it adds an octave up to your signal. And it does that in lots of clever ways. It's all black boxed inside there. But it essentially sounds a bit like a ring modulator where it's just doing funny things to the signal, which ends up with a octave above the one you're playing. I'm using my Strat here, neck pickup. So octave ups tend to work best with neck pickup above the 12th fret and also with the tone roll off, which I'll show you as well. So let's hear clean. You can tell it's on even if there's no little on off button, on off light. So you can already hear the octave up effect happening. If I turn the tone down. Okay, so that's what it sounds like. Now, obviously, it's not meant for clean. It's meant for a distortion pedal before or after it. So I'm going to throw the fuzz into it so you can hear what it sounds like more realistically. So this is my fuzzy tone. So you can hear it adds come quite harsh high end to chords, but it will track the chord. If I roll off the tone on the guitar, You can just hear it adding some extra kind of harmonics to that sound. Maybe not your favourite sound, but it is a unique sound. If I go up above the 12th or into the 12th, into the dusty regions, and I play individual notes, again, just neck pick up, tone all the way on. You can instantly hear that upper octave. If I turn down the tone, You can hear that upper octave much more clearly. So it's weird. You can hear that it's weird, but it does do the upper octave thing. And I got it because I wanted to try and find a way of getting an octave fuzz that I liked. This sort of does the job for me. It, I said it's an odd effect that requires understanding and learning. It interacts differently with the pedals that are in front and behind it. As there are no controls, it's obviously just on or off. So there's no way of adjusting the effect other than using the guitar. So you can roll the volume back. <laughs> get some other kind of effects as well. You can also use it before a distortion. So I've got my rat here.
So playing it with the distortion after and the, uh, the distortion before and distortion after it, and all that, it all adds different textures to the way the octave responds. So it's a lot of fun. It does add a little bit of a volume boost if you've got it just playing directly after the gain distortion fuzz pedal. It obviously drops the volume very slightly if it's going into another pedal as well. But if you... If you use it like a bit of a solo boost to get a bit of texture to a solo. gives you that bit of volume and it gives you some extra texture and a higher octave so it stands out from the mix dramatically. So there you go. It is a weird effect pedal that isn't going to be for everybody. It does weird things. Some will like weird, some will not like weird. I quite like weird. I have used it live and I did find it fun for a couple of solos. I'm more interested in this octave up idea. So I've owned lots of octave pedals. I've owned digital ones. I've had the OC3, the OC5. I've had the sub and up from TC. I've also had analog. So I've owned the Pearl OC7, which is one of the best pedals ever. And I wish I hadn't sold it, which does really good octave downs, analog. So I'll be really interested in other octave pedals that are analog and give you that octave up. I know Keely do like the Argonaut. So I'd be really interested in hearing what your thoughts are on this and what you've tried. Have you tried one of these? Have you found a unique way of using it? Really want to hear your opinions on this whole octave up thing. Is it, is this something you love? Is it something you hate? This, as I've said, is Bigfoot Engineering. It's handmade in the UK by Reese, who builds the King Fuzz. I bought this second hand for I think about 80 pounds and they retail for about 160 new. I said, love to hear what you think. So get in the comments, like, subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.